What if you could somehow magically plan out the actions you're going to take in life without worrying about the outcome? Wouldn't the outcome be the same or even better than if you would have worried about it? When we worry, all it does is add anxiety to the situation at hand. For instance, if you have a presentation due in five days, worrying about the outcome won't change your due date. It'll still be due on the same exact day. The only difference is that worrying about it will give you trouble sleeping, which lowers your energy, which lowers your ability to concentrate. You end up feeling like you're not prepared, which makes you overprepare, which further takes away time from resting enough hours. This makes you nervous and insecure the day of your presentation, which lowers the conviction in your tone of voice. So you won't be able to convince others as easily. It takes away your appearance of confidence. People will think that you don't know your stuff, even if you do, resulting in a pretty horrible presentation. The formula of not worrying about the outcome was not invented by me. This formula is even in the Bible. Go to Matthew 6 verse 25 through 34 and God himself is telling you not to worry about tomorrow. He did not design us to worry. He designed us to invent a plan of action to put it into effect and enjoy every step of the plan in the present with faith that the outcome will be what is best for us. The minute that you worry about something, you're demonstrating that you don't have faith in Him. For those of you who are not religious, this same belief is expressed by various well-known philosophical writers throughout time. For example, in the seven spiritual laws of success, Deepak Chopra mentions the universal law called the Law of Intention and Desire. This law states that the creative ideas you need in order to fulfill your desires will automatically come to you when you meditate. Therefore, you don't need to worry. Just meditate and use the creative ideas that come to you in order to design a plan of action and put this plan into effect with faith, not with worries. You are then able to enjoy the formation of your dreams in the present without worrying about the obstacles because you'll know that within every obstacle is an opportunity. If you're still not convinced, there's also a Buddhist philosophy called Zen. Having your mind in Zen entails that you must live your life with an empty mind. That means no worries. Just go with the flow because life will take you wherever life needs you. Therefore, if the Bible tells you not to worry, if Chopra tells you not to worry, if Zen Buddhists tell you to live a worry-free life, do you really think that they're all wrong? If you're filled with anxiety right now and you've worried throughout your whole life, don't you think it's about time that you try a different strategy? Design a plan of action and enjoy the formation of your dreams in the present with faith that whatever ends up being the outcome of your actions is what is best for you. You have nothing to lose. Try it out. I dare you.